ladies and gentlemen. Now, you may be asking yourself, Beza, this shit is so easy. That's very true. I myself have not beat it at all to 100%. The closest I got was about 73%, which is why I'm giving it a try. Now, the biggest question is, what class is 100% for Breath of the Wild? Now, I'm going off the game spaces of what a 100% file looks like because it's very different to how people would consider a 100% file. With Breath of the Wild in mind, you have to defeat all four Divine Beasts, which on its own, all the Divine Beasts, are 0.32% of, of the entire fucking game. All shrine discoveries, which means I don't really have to beat them, I just have to activate them. That is 9.6. The 120 shrines in this entire game only adds up to 9.6 of the game. So, so off the bat, we're not even at we're, we're, we're not even at 10%. 226 locations discovered is 18.08. And then it's the final 72%. 900 Korok seeds. This is the part where we're, we're going to stumble the most. I'm I'm willing to give this a try. If it's if I beat it five minutes before the game releases or I beat it five days before the game releases, I'm I'm willing to give it a try. I'm going to be streaming a bunch of this on Twitch.tv. So that's where all this, most of this footage is from. I'm going to be playing a bunch off stream because I... Uh, but yeah, you know, I hope you guys are excited for this uh, this this long 130 day journey because I'm not. <laughs> Let's get into this. So yeah, look, I haven't booted this game up since May uh, May 19th, 2022. That was almost a whole year ago since I last played. Oh god, I only I only did, I, I didn't even do 64. I didn't even do 70 percent of this whole game. It's taken me almost six years to get 64 percent. I didn't even do that. And I'm about to, I'm literally about to delete this file. Actually, let me show off why I'm, why I'm losing before anything else. So, I'm losing all this, all of these. Oh, God, I'm gonna, God, this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate this. I literally could just start a new file. Like, I could just make an account for this. But I'd rather have it on my main, <laughs> on my main. I lose all this armor. Oh, God. Dude, I just thought about it. Oh, I don't even, I, how do you get this, how do you get the fist deity stuff back? Because it's like, um, it was an amiibo thing that literally, I think, got scrapped. Oh god, I didn't think about this. I don't want to do it, but I, I... I know what I must do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Right. Let's just... Let's just, let's just do it, I guess. Oh, dude, that's gonna hurt. Alright. Alright. Dude, I know I'm gonna hate doing this. Oh. Oh, that's six years gone. Oh, that hurt. That, that one stung. That, that hurt like a bee. Now, you may be wondering what my plan is to getting to 100% this. This is no easy feat, and considering it took me almost six years to even get to 64%, it would surely take a miracle to not only get all shrines, name locations, and core seeds, but to do it all within a 130 day period seems impossible. See, that's where the seams part comes in. For the first time in my life, we're making a video with an end goal. I went in with a plan. But this plan really only got off the ground a few days after I started. But we'll talk about it when we get to it. For now, my plan for the start was simple. Get off the Great Plateau and make my way straight to Hyrule Castle and gather resources. Hyrule Castle has some of the best late game loot the game has to offer. From elemental weapons to powerful bows and the Hylian Shield. As mentioned earlier, you have to defeat all four Divine Beasts to have it count towards the 100% goal. My original plan was to gather all the things needed to make my way across all the Divine Beasts and defeat them, take out Ganon, then after that, search for all 120 shrines in the game, then after that, search for all 900 Korok seeds, and only then get all 226 name locations in the game. On paper, that doesn't seem like a bad idea, but then you look at it a little longer, and this could have been one of the worst ideas I've come up with since spending a thousand pound on a Mario figurine. Having to basically go across all of Hyrule four different times just seems way too tedious and would kill all motivation in seconds. But this was how the first day ended, me laying the groundwork for what was yet to come and was ready, or so I thought. Yeah, I kind of didn't play the game for like a full week after that first day. Now, this is where the meat and potatoes of this quest kind of begin. And this can all be credited to one of my friends I was in a Discord call with. 
I was playing Breath of the Wild in the cool and they noticed that I was playing Breath of the Wild and I told him my original plan of avoiding all Koroks and shrines and basically he told me I was a complete and utter moron for thinking it was a good idea. There's going to be nothing in the game left to do apart from Koroks, it's just so dry. Do you know how boring that will be? I mean, I, I guess... You'll run from one place, you'll have to listen to the... <laughs> I feel like you should definitely be doing them now. Yeah, you know, I I think you might be right, Alex. I might just do the Koroks now so I don't burn myself to death. Because you won't have any like motivation to carry on playing if you just have Koroks left. There's, a, there's the first Korok I've picked up this entire game. Wow. And oh my god. For the first time in my life, I took his advice. And thank god I did. This was actually the turning point. Suddenly, everything had been made so much more clearer and just obvious that I should have done this from the start. And honestly, if he had said nothing, I don't even think I'd be here right now re reading the script. But with that in mind, now I continue my quest of beating the Divine Beast and collecting Korok Seeds at the same time to save myself so much more time in the long run. Up top, above you. Up Did I want to fight? Oh my... What? Harry! Oh... <laughs> Gritty aunt, oh, Harry. Oh, what? Harry, that was way too suspicious then. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You can't even hide in them, bro. She, they're yeah. just there. She moves her hand, it's done for. Bro, I'm surprised that he didn't fuck the fish. Bit of a waste, to be honest. Link could have. That pussy was limited time and he. he didn't <laughs> that pussy was limited edition. <laughs> it was limited edition, bro. He could have reeled it. I feel like Link has like an insane amount of unspoken riz. Like, look at this. Like, look at it. She's naked, bro. It's like some, it's like an Andrew Tate bit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, look. I got a sense of that. I got a sense of that. I got a, I got a sense of that, man. Like, that's same. That's same fair. <laughs> oh, speaking of naked, hello, Toby. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. It, it... Oh my god. <laughs> I have no more bows or arrows. There we go. Oh, I did it. After beating Zora's domain, I wasted no time, went straight for Rivali's Galas. This is probably one of the best power ups in the entire game. Fuck, dude. Get out of here! Oh my god! Yo, Harry, does this look like a wiki how player to you? <laughs> As with wiki how player. <laughs> One singular bomb arrow. Didn't even kill him. How the f am I meant to get in here? Melt the ice. I don't have anything to melt it with. It's like, it's like perfectly out of my reach. Here, wait, I'm going on, wiki how! I'm not going on. Shut the f up. I did it. I just, yeah, you know, cheesing, cheesing's the best way to do it. Like a really awesome idea. Uh oh. <laughs> you know how to do this. But I'm doing it. Cool. I've just cheesed it. What's new there? Cheesing the kids' game. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. Huh. I can't I'm actually winging it. That's because he's like a bird. What the f- Oh god. Let's go. <laughs> By this point, I'd be drastically increasing the percentage of day I would be achieving. Well, on the first day, I avoided basically everything. I did probably, at best, 1.5 of the 100% and that's a blind guess and now just going to 3% by the end of the sixth day And while it's not that much of an improvement, it's still good progress for having 124 days left 
Before this day starts, I had to do some background research to find the best way to keep track of all 900 Korok seats in the game, because trying to keep track of every single one you have and don't have is one of the most tedious and annoying things you can come across in this entire game. While I was scrolling for YouTube shorts like a degenerate that I am, I stumbled upon a video that showed me how to keep track of every single Korok seat, a shrine, boss, and name location in the entire game. This was big. And it also showed me that Google was listening to every single word I'm saying. So big, I wasted no time the next day and unlocked the Rook's protection, but I managed to find myself 50 Korok seeds, which boosted us up a whole 5%, which is still some pretty big progress in the grand scheme of things, all considered. There goes nothing. Oh, there's hot springs over here. Go! Quick! Ooh. I'm good. I'm good. Oh my god, Harry, that was so close. I barely have any food to get me there. Oh, bro, this was... This was bad right from the get-go. Oh, I'm actually not gonna make it. Harry, my, my plan has been flawed. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Look how many re... Oh, bro, I'm so... I'm so screwed. I'm actually so... I'm so dead before I even got there. Go, go, go! Oh, well, there goes Don't, don't, don't stop! Drop food quick! Oh. Don't you have any other crumbs you can have? <laughs> no! <laughs> it cannot be it. Go to the other page. That's it, that's it. Is that seriously all you have? <laughs> What I, I thought it was, I thought it What was. the hell? How is that it? Yeah, it's coming in the poop water. No, oh. no. Oh. Oh. I just, <laughs> oh, my life just flashed before my eyes. Sorry, I'm trying to get this block up here, and I just got crushed as soon as you said poop water. <laughs> How the hell do you miss? What? What is your problem? I actually, I hate you. I actually. There you go. I'm more just annoyed the fact that he missed. Now, with only Obosa's Divine Beast remaining, I decided to step away from doing the main quest to focus more on building up the 100% girl, as we were not even in the double digits by this point. But. I managed to find an even more useful site for tracking Korok seeds, as this site actually breaks up the Korok seeds in regions, which Breath of the Wild has 15 different regions, 16 if you count Hyrule Castle. And with this app, I could tick off the ones I have and don't have on the fly, which makes things so much easier than using my phone for the entire time. And so, I spent about 6-7 to seven hours of my life doing nothing but collecting Korok seeds and activating shrines, and by the time I'd even gone to the actual Divine Beast, I was sitting at a very clean 156 Korok seeds. The jump up from 50 no, to 156 no. is, 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 is impeccable. <laughs> and include the shrines plus random locations that I've stumbled upon. I was up from around 5% all the way up to 15 towards the 100% goal. And only on day 8, the possibility of getting to 100% before Tears of the Kingdom even releases was looking more and more possible. Alright, what do I name this horse? Gok. Gok. Call it dog. Please put a capital. I can hear people the like, People like you. <laughs> what do you mean people like me? Oh, pe people like you are the reason why the world is gonna <laughs> blow up. <laughs> well, because I didn't put- I didn't put a capital D in dog. Exactly. There's nothing. Oh my god. That kind of worked. Go, don't go down the hill. Go back up the hill. Oh, hell no. Oh, boom. Can I make the bank shot? <laughs> I'm actually insane. Oh. Why, thank you! Thank you so much! <laughs> where is he? What, what the, where, where is he? <laughs> well, that's not fair. Just put him up there. 
Just put him where I can't see him. That's great. I'm going to blow up someone in a second. I'm going to pull an Obama and blow up a, blow up a hospital full of children. Okay, it's, it's done. That was miserable, bro. Once getting all the Divine Beasts on our side, it was time to finally take on Ganon once and for all. What makes beating Ganon useful for us is once you defeat him on the map, you'll get to finally see the percentage goal, which makes tracking my 100% goal so much easier than just blindly guessing, which I'd been doing up to this point. Collecting a few more Koroks and Shrines inside Hyrule Castle, I then found myself face to face with Ganon. And well, if you know this game, it's Breath of the Wild Ganon. I'm getting hot, steamy, and naked for this one. Oh god, okay, that, that foot was pretty close. Okay. We're getting way too close for comfort. Though. It was so easy. I beat the boss twice. Shh. It was meant to be for the clip. No, no, wait. No, I missed. I missed. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> it was so easy. I did it twice. Getting through the credits, I ended up at 28.44%, being eight days in and having one fourth of the game complete. I'm quite satisfied with the current result we have, and I'm more than confident by this point, we're getting to 100%. But I did not stop there. No, sorry. Now that I have access to see my percentage, I took it upon myself to step until 2 a.m. collecting Korok seeds to get up to 200 Korok seeds, getting me to around 30%. You're not going to believe this, but I did nothing but play Breath of the Wild for 12 hours straight and went from 30% to 43.60. I have some serious problems. Allow me to explain my game plan now that I managed to get to this point in such a short amount of time. Admittedly, at some point, doing all the regions, I got a little bit bored with doing all of them in a certain order, and so I wanted to spice things up a little bit. And if you're familiar with the channel, you may recognize it's time to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel! <laughs> See what we get. Oh, dude, thank God. You know, I'd rather do I'd rather do this. This one is not that big. Well, obviously, this doesn't really change much of the final result. I thought it would make it more interesting in what order God wanted me to do the regions. I mentioned a while ago that I was using a Korok tracker that splits up finding Koroks into regions. Within one day, I went back and got every single Korok in the Great Plateau, which is 18, the Akala region, which has 57 Koroks, and the Elden region, which has 45 Korok seeds. And Dueling Peaks region, which has 59 Korok seeds. And the Wasteland region, which has 68 Korok seeds. We were, we were moving. I managed to get all these areas done in one day. And I will admit, it was a little bit tedious at times. But each Korok is fun to get my hands on because it's building up the percentage meter. It, it, it's satisfying, I guess. So, uh, I actually don't know. Okay. I have played Breath of the Wild for five days straight for almost 12 hours on each single day, and I think I'm beginning to lose it a little bit. Go! No! Get away from the horse, dude! Oh my god, I'm actually... Go! Go, dog! Oh my god! Come on! Oh, annoying. Yeah, let's just walk towards the Guardian. That's fine. That's fine. You know, not like you're trying to kill us. Uh -oh. Yeah, let's just not. Let's just not go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my. Okay. Right. No, this is, this is where I'm going to start losing it. What the? F what the hell? I just want to. I just want to be done with this. What is he doing? <laughs> it's fr it's throwing me off so hard, dude. It's throwing me off so hard. Oh my god! <laughs> my horse, man. He's like, oh, man. Oh my god! I'm so done with this. I'm actually so done. Come on! 
<laughs> just talk at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that another guardian right in front of me? Oh my god, man. You really, you really just shouldn't have, you know? You're just so considerate. What? What? Fuck. I suck at aiming, bro. I'm pretty sure I die here. Um. At least I was right. I can't see past the fire. I'm in. Tr I'm actually like. I'm in a lot of trouble right now. I'm actually in a lot of trouble. <laughs> go. <laughs> and we go. And the guardian never saw me again. Are you? Go <laughs> what the heck was going on? You know. What? At least I can say I'm at 400 now. Ooh. Throughout most of the fifth day, I used this time to beat the Ridgeland region, which has 80 different Korok Seeds, the Woodland region, which has 35 Korok Seeds, the Central region, which has 89 Korok Seeds, and the Lanayru region, which has 62 Korok Seeds, putting me from the previous 43.60% to 62.83%. And this is also including the shrines I found along the way and the name locations, which I've lost count of at this point. This is very fast progress, all things considered. And it's honestly kind of making me think I could 100% Breath of the Wild before January even ends. Throughout most of this day, I used this time to collect the Korok seeds in the Farron region and the Heber region. While putting down my spots on the map for the Heber region, I realized something was not adding up. See, when checking off the Korok seeds, I got a little sidetracked and didn't even notice I misclicked one of the Korok seeds I hadn't even obtained yet in the Akala region, even though I had been there and thought I collected them all. Now, if I was around 50 to 150 Korok seeds, this probably wouldn't be that bad, but this is when I was 631 Korok seeds out of the 900 in, so I had to do a lot, and I mean a lot, of scanning over each region to find out which one I missed, and luckily, after around 10 to 20 minutes of searching, I finally found it. <gasps> what? I missed one here? Oh my god, dude, this changes, every this changes everything. Oh my god. Okay. If I'd found that Korok seed any later, I couldn't have imagined how much longer it actually would have taken. Now, to be fair, I'd stayed up not only trying to get all the Koroks in these regions, but I also went ahead and activated most of the shrines around the areas, getting me to an end goal of 75.55% and I stayed up until goddamn four in the morning finishing these regions bro my nights were longer and my sleep schedule was getting worse brother but we're not far away from the end goal now it's just a few more hundred Korok seeds a few dozen shrines and locations and we're done Day 12 started off with a spin the wheel and God decided I would do the Hateno region, which while it wasn't that bad, these big areas just take forever for me to get through, as the Koroks are scattered around everywhere in the regions. No, 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 uh, oh, no, oh, no, no. But getting through Hateno region, the world gods decided it would give me Hyrule Castle, which I was counting as its own region only because it has its own unique map similar to one you would see in a dungeon. Getting through that swiftly, we only had Gerudo and the Lake region to remain, which were both absolute beasts in their own. Mainly Gerudo being a pain because trying to navigate through the snow is like trying to convince people that spending a thousand pound on Mario Sunshine figurine was worthwhile. Spoilers, the argument never works. But ignoring that, I finished up the Gerudo region in a record time of only two hours, which is quite fast all things considered, and moved on to the final location of the game, the lake region. I purposely left this one last as it was the biggest area that holds Koroks, that being 92, so leaving it until last was my best plan of action. Playing through the area around 6pm that day, I didn't finish until 9pm, which honestly is quite quick all things considered once again. I spent longer on other regions, but thankfully after around 60 hours at this point of non-stop gameplay, at 9.21pm, I found my 900th Korok seed. Alright, it's the last Korok. 
Zero. You found all the hidden Koroks. I did. I did do that. And I just stopped playing for the rest of the night, ending at 93.72%. I didn't want to believe it, but I'm really close to being Breath of the Wild, which now brought up a new problem. You see, now that I have around 7% to go until I was done, the problem was, what was the final 7% of the game? The amount of shrines I had left to activate didn't mathematically calculate correctly, and I didn't have enough name locations left to also make it add up to 7%, which is why I went back online to see what the problem was, and that was when I found out the DLC for Breath of the Wild also counts towards 100% goal, meaning I had to beat the Champion's Ballad DLC to beat Breath of the Wild to 100%, confirming Breath of the Wild as a pay-to-win game. While doing the DLC shrines, I also collected a few other unique shrines I needed to collect, such as the Eventide Isle Shrine, which is still one of the best shrine quests in this entire game, and any other name locations I still yet to complete. Now that I had some time to not worry about the 100% goal, as I was so close by this point, I got a little sidetracked, as I typically do in Breath of the Wild, and unlocked all the memories to get the champion's outfit and pulled out the Master Sword, just because I... Uh, skill issue, I guess. By the time I finished the remaining 12 DLC shrines and collected all the other shrines I had still needed to unlock, to my knowledge, and unlocked the Master Cycle, and found all 226 name locations and all 900 Korok Seeds, I finished the 13th day at 99.83%. We were only 0.17% away from the 100% goal, and I had absolutely no idea what I was missing at this point. It was only until around 2am when I went back onto my Switch and looked through the official Breath of the Wild guidebook, I'm not even kidding when I say this, and saw there were two shrines missing that I had not unlocked yet. And so, I booted my PC back up like a complete and utter fool and got myself ready, which at this point, it's already 2am on the 14th day. I made my final approach to the last few shrines I needed, the Suma Summer Shrine in the Wasteland region, and the final piece of the 100% puzzle, the Toto Sar Shrine, which was located in the Twin Peaks region. And once I'd activated both shrines, Done. Breathe in and drink. This is what you've wasted the last few weeks of your life doing. Alright, cool. Next game. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was done. This is how our story in Hyrule ends for now. After almost six years of playing Breath of the Wild, I had finally achieved my lifelong goal of 100%ing the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I had a feeling one day I'd 100% this game, but I didn't expect to pick it up starting from 0% and going from 100 in just two weeks of playing. If you want my advice, don't do it in a two week span. You're having to lose a large chunk of your social life like I did. Unless you're a speedrunner, then you're just a straight up giga chad and do it in under 24 hours. The only problem being, I now had just under 100 days until Tears of the Kingdom releases, and now I don't really know what else to do, but patiently wait until Tears of the Kingdom releases on May 12th, 2023.